the spot healing brush tool is a great tool that helps you out a lot in Photoshop. What it does is it automatically samples pixels to remove unwanted spots, small objects, or blemishes from your image. Um, Photoshop selects and replaces pixels from another part of your image to blend it in automatically. So let's go ahead and show you real easy what it does. You can see we got some blemishes here. All you got to do, hover over it, click once, and Photoshop does the rest. It's so easy, right? You just come in here, get rid of all these blemishes. Um, you don't have to dab. You can paint like this. And then you can see we got rid of all those zits and blemishes without having to do really anything, right? It works just like the healing brush, except we don't actually choose where the sample comes from. Photoshop just automatically does it. Uh, that's why I like it. You don't have to do anything but draw. Just do brush strokes, right? Get rid of what you don't want. So the top options for this, obviously, we always got our regular tool presets. And we got our brush preset picker. Um, we got a mode. This is a blend mode. You got normal, replace, multiply, screen, dark, and lighten, and then color and luminosity. Most of the time, you're probably just going to use the normal blend mode. Sometimes multiply and screen work really good. See, we got screen here. It works pretty good. You can play around with them and see what works best for whatever project you're doing. Then type, this sets the source sampling type. Usually you're gonna keep it on content aware, but you can also play with create texture where it heals with the texture or proximity match. Let's just show you what those do. Create texture. Does a pretty good job, right? And then we got proximity match. It's just different source sampling types, right? Different ways that Photoshop heals your image. Then you got sample all layers. You just use this if you have a bunch of layers in your composite and you need to sample from multiple layers. Then we got your brush angle. Same as brush angle for everything else. And last but not least, we got pressure for size. This is if you're using a pen tablet. Obviously, the less hard you push down, the smaller the brush is going to be. If I start pushing harder, it's going to make it bigger. Right? That's all that does. And that is the spot healing brush in Photoshop. Guys, if you got any questions or comments, make sure to put them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.